Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Ad Exchange on dynamic allocation without the need of setting up an order or a line item. Before we start the process or the setup, here are the things that you need to remember. You can only do this if your Ad Manager account is mapped with Ad Exchange. And that means you have or you own a primary Ad Exchange account. You will know this if you go to your Ad Manager, Admin, and Global Settings. You will have this tab that says Ad Exchange Account, and you will see here the Publisher ID for your Ad Exchange. If you don't have this option, then that means you don't have a mapped account. Once you have verified that you can proceed and you have Ad Exchange mapped to your account, you now double check your ad unit settings. Now this part right here is done even if you're planning to run ad exchange on the line item level or by using the yield group. It doesn't matter. You still have to check your ad unit settings. So go to your ad units, click on the specific ad unit, and you will see here AdSense inventory settings. And it has to say disabled. If it's enabled, you need to click override and then uncheck this box right here because otherwise if this is checked and enabled it's like running adsense on dynamic allocation instead once you're all set we can now proceed in creating our yield group so on your delivery tab click on yield groups and click on new yield group Next, give it a name. So let's say my site underscore yield group. And then you can say status is active. Here, select the format you're running. So if you're doing a regular site, then select banner. And for the inventory type, select web if you're running a regular website or mobile app if you're running a mobile app. So I'm gonna select web for this tutorial. Next is targeting. You can go ahead and leave targeting if you want to target all your inventory under this ad manager account. Here, we would suggest you leave this as is for the sizes so that it can target all the sizes or any size that's eligible to serve for any of your ad units. And then, if you notice, Ad Exchange is already active. You can add more yield partner here if you have any that is set up to run on exchange bidding in dynamic allocation or EBDA. We have a separate tutorial for that. But if you just want Ad Exchange to run on dynamic allocation, then that is actually all you need to do. You don't have to change anything here because Ad Exchange is already chosen by default. Then you go ahead and save it. Once that's saved, you will see it here. And then the status should say active. Then you can run a report for it quite easily here. You just go to yield groups and click this. Then redirect you to the query tool and show you the number of impressions, estimated revenue, and CPM. Well, of course, we don't have data yet because this is new, but that was pretty straightforward. You can easily run your report there and you see all your stats and you didn't even have to worry about, you know, targeting the line item, targeting sizes and all that. And it makes the process a lot simpler. And there you have it. Ad Exchange is now running on dynamic allocation across all the inventory and all sizes for this Ad Manager account. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.